Okay. Okay, we're going to start up with a couple of the uh, Mamada warm up here. Okay, loose it up. Okay, hip turn, hip turn, hip turn. Good. And if now we can start with a little bit of your body, step and strike. Good. So I move forward and I take the person's hand and strike like this. Have to come from your hip, yeah? The waist have to move. Ways have to move. So your feet down there, your feet down there, turn, turn. So I can see this. Oh, you can see my feet, yeah? There. The feet have to swing. This way, you want your, the same way you swing in the golf, whole body. Ideally, you want the body swing. Good. Yeah. The same exercise when you actually learn to swing the golf. So body have to be turning. Like that, good. So try to get those, uh, okay? Yeah, so you get those uh, body swing at the striking. Okay, to get that, good. All right, next, take your elbow, pull it a little across the chest, across the chest. So when we do elbow, we bring the elbow very close to the bar. We elbow, we have to be, we don't want to be printed open too much, very close. So you can do cross, few stretch, cross, cross, and cross. Okay, good. Now we take this, do elbow like this, down. Turn, before we elbow, we take this hand blocking and this elbow down. This, 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 Anytime the wind chunk, what elbow, one hand block first, so we don't open, and then the elbow. One hand hold it, one hand up. So it looks like this. Okay? And completely, we don't want to be tense, just the elbow. Just the elbow. Good. Loose there. Yeah? Now, so for the exercise, we also do that as well. They get it very loose. Very loose. Mm hmm. So this one here, in case something come in, we don't want to elbow like hold it strong, we just, okay, just a little soft. That's all we need to stop. Okay, that one when you can do the form, this and this, same idea. We don't need the whole horn, well, all we need just the elbow stop. Yes, that's what we need, that elbow loose. Elbow loose up the elbow. Good. There you go, and you have elbow swing. Just be gentle you have this and you have your body turn. Yeah, but your feet, your feet have to turn as well. Good. Yes. Okay. All right. I'm going to make it down. Not from the shoulder, from your hip. Keep it low. Keep it low. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So anytime we do that, we want the whole body turn. Turn. Yes. If you take your hand high, that will come up shoulder. Keep my hand low. Turn, 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 good. Turn and turn, pass, pass, good, pass, good. So that's for elbow, cross elbow strike. Okay, that's what we need a lot. Good. Okay, when you learn on the second form, we'll learn this. This elbow look like this. Meaning for regular strike elbow, it's also mean for arm break. I show you. So let's say, okay, Tara, give me a punch. Give me a punch, stop punch. So I go punch forward. See here, we got this. When this one turn, this is the elbow break. So when, when we hit somebody on the ladder and they resist it, our elbow now become elbow break. Yeah? So that motion we do here. Okay? So if you do like that to me, take a hand punch. And that person resisted that elbow turn. Become elbow, oh. yeah, like sorry, yeah, like that. Yeah, we turn that when you turn both hands, become the elbow break. Okay. So if you keep your hand like this, you do like one hand here, one hand here, you turn, yeah, turn to that here, turn your hip and then turn, right? Turn, yeah. So this, let's see here, this look, look. So, see, so one hand you hold here, one hand connect with your hip, and then you turn with your hip, turn there, that's it. 
But don't collapse. You need it to move back to the other brick. Yeah, turn. There. You see here? So the more you do this, you get flat elbow brick. How about the other side? Take this hand, elbow brick from here. Okay? So take this hand, flat that. That's a pun. It starts from the pun. Somebody resists you. Put the elbow here, elbow brick. Yeah, turn. So this one you turn with the hip. See? Hip turn, hip turn, hip turn. Ah, so hip turn, circle. Uh huh. Not bring to you, not bring to you, but you circle. You circle. So turn, circle. You see here? Circle. Use a hip turn. Yeah. So the more you do that, you will use a hip. If you use a hand, you're not strong. Hand not strong, but when you use your hip, you can put your body behind it, right? That's why if this move, you guys start on the second form, we'll learn how to use your hip to turn. Mm -hmm. So when you actually do the for the real elbow, for the elbow break, elbow break is very strong. Yeah. So again, in Wing Chun, you see a lot of that in an exercise, like an exercise to get the power. Good. That are for the elbow. Good. Now bring your knee. Knee. Do circular motion. Pass your hip. Remember, make sure that pass cover in front. So if the kick come in, you make sure that it covers block. Yeah? Take it outside. Touch. We'll move this. You can see it. Let's see. 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 Okay. Okay. So this is like this. If we block it, okay, uh, we use it to block. Good. We block. So the contact is on this side. Nothing on the knee. We don't want to get the knee inside. And when you block like that, we push forward. Yeah. Good. Block, push down. Block and push down. Block and push down. <laughs> block and push down. Good. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, for example, okay, later on, let's say somebody gonna knee, somebody gonna knee, you blocked it, you blocked it outside like this, and then you break. Turn around, turn around. Okay, you do the circle. Look, try to do this leg, do this leg, right? Look, so if you see, I go here, to so using that. I go here, to so using that, number one. If it close, this block and break. It will close. If it was far, if it was far, then you bring one up, drop down, and leave the other one to kick. Push. Yeah, that's it. Okay? I will watch again. Because yes. some say in the close way, close way means we go to this far. And the person maybe hold us at the knee, this floor, and break. It close, she do that. Two more in one. Try again. Block, break. So this block, this break here. Okay? That move. Okay, and it go down. Because it's very close, you cannot kick high, there's no power. But you go down, it puts the leg. Let's try again. Duh. And close, close. When it close, use the same leg. That's right away, they already can. Uh, that's when you can practice this block and the break. Two more in one. This, we don't put it down. If you do this, and then you put it down, and then you kick. Ah, two more in one. Watch it. It's the block and the break. You fall because this one not hit here. The hit on the side. Don't need a lot of don't need a lot of power. You're gonna fall out. That one kick. If it was far, you back. See block one here. Ah, so that one could be for the leg like that. And then the other one kick. Now this could be a long kick. So two are the same. Yeah? So we practice like that. Here, close, do that. One leg is hard. Here and break. Do slow. Here and break. Good. Do that. Okay. The far one will be like this over there. We push. You have to exercise, right? But the close one is the most. The close one is the most important in wing jump. They're very close. You try to kick. They go and try to be knee. Ah, so this one again. Lock the knee. Break. Come forward. Hit. There you go. Yeah. Or they might get into a little hole, wrap your hand, and they try to knee. And some kickboxing teach that, Muay Thai teach that. This is the wind jump, how to block them. Wind jump don't ever go 
what they need. When Chong Rong teach you how to need that person, because it's like two cars hitting each other. Hold on, but tell you to go circle, right? The circles, I go in and Clara goes circle, she's not hurt. Okay, all hurt, but not maximum hit impact. We don't want that. So that's why we have circular knee. All right, you have a little bit knee, circular motion. This knee is the same like the hand you learn. Tan sao, this is called tan good. Practice the knee so go outward. And it can convenient, kick. Aha, circle. And push down. Circle. And push down. So they don't need a lot of power on this move. Okay, that's a circular motion. Yeah, like this. Great. Now make sure when you do this, your weight is in the back. So I do this, I do this, and I control my my balance well, yeah? Don't try to be lean forward like, like this. We don't lean forward. We just control it, break, and come in. Uh, that's how you stop the kick, yes? Do it on the right. And remember, they're hard because we have to use the front. Okay, why try to use the front? Because the front turn around, turn around. The front leg is close to me, so that's why she's fast, right? If she's using the back, they're very slow. So the front, block the front, they come in, the front kick and the front. There you go. So that one's it. So that one's you do that. Circle, break, exercise. Okay. Okay, go like this. Circle, break. And now hand, go for the hand. Call hand good. Kick. You have practice like that. Or even just this one help you already. Okay? Avoid the kicker, right? We do that. Number one. So yeah. So go hand circle. Break. Okay, that one circle, yeah? You see that one, okay. Then now, so that's the circle, you learn one, warm up this way. Two, go from, this one go outside, the other hand turn it inside. So go inside. Inside was shape with the hand like that. Inside, yeah? This is inside, turn the body. Turn the body. When do you use that? We use that when you have opposite side. Okay, do you? Back back the fight again. Okay, so it's not here. Before, Tara would go outside because she locked this knee. Now, same thing, my knee come from here and she had this. So now she had to go walk me that way, turn the body. Uh -huh. So careful with this. Don't bring your knee in, you touch right there. This part. Turn. Yeah, so my knee come the opposite. But look, your body turn as well. Your body turn as well. Good. We slightly turn that way. Lock. And because you're here, this is going to go with side kick. Yeah? That, there you go. So, slowly, she turn. Very good. How much you turn? Remember, we don't want to turn all the way like this because his, the hand is still there. I just turn it from here. I just direct it. Yeah. Just like this. Look, look at my arm. Circle. Look at my leg. Circle. Same, yeah? Bring your knee, soft. Remember this one, not hard. When we hold it hard, the hit hard. When you soft, yeah, soft. Okay, when you soft and people kick in, at least they're not bone hit bone. We want that. We don't want to go hard because hard hit hard, bone damage. But soft, I can move a little bit, but now they allow you to, yeah, that way. Good, there. So this one is go circle. Good, and then from here, my leg right here, down, that call, side kick. Okay, look at it again, look at the situation again. So I was here, my knee come this way, she turn. Good, and then where's she kick? Turn to stop this. When did you drop? Drop right here. Okay. There you go, turn around. See if, uh, okay. okay. That's one new. So, okay, go back. I know it's hard to see now. So I come in. So this, watch it again. So this is what's clock, right? The turn, yes, do that clock here. So what he here, I bring my knee in, she turn. Yes, that's it, yes? Okay, the two move. Move number one is important like this. When she turn in, turn. She's still looking. She's still looking, right? So the leg do this, the leg do this, but the hand, she still have to watch it. It's not like when you kick in the, 
Some cry, some say, well, when you kick, we just kick. You don't even look at the hand. This is the problem. The Wen Chang is a very close fight. We still fight hand to hand. But if you see it, bring your knee up, you block it. Then you get a convenient from an angle, you kick that. Yeah. So that will hit me in this leg, right? But slowly, here, kick, boom, and now we back to the hand. Uh, so that is, teach you how to block. It's something different from your knee. And we don't want to, be, we just use our leg. Yeah, there are two things that you, you want to be starting. Okay, there are a lot more, but that is the most two things. When people say, Wing Chun, no kick. We don't need to kick. We need to, we need to stop those kick. Yeah, so this is called, that's it. So see you like this, I go in, I go, stop, and then you go there. You see when you drop down, you put the push kick. So that's why in case you don't strip like that, right? The wind will go up and boom, and then move forward. Number one, yeah, that's our opposite side. And if the same side, you do a tan good, which is circle the other way, uh, circle the other way, and then come in, if, yes, number one, if it's closer, do that with the kick together. That, kick, and go in, okay? If a little bit further more, you can do that walk, and look, knee, if it's close. Again, do this, step on knee, Knee, right to the groin, and then attack if it was low. I will further more, then, okay. So we have different. Wing Chun have the tools, can be really close, extended, extended, yeah? You have close, you can do this, break. A bit further more, block, knee straight to the groin. Number two, extend. Number three, too far, block, give you that kick. So you have three different, super close, a little bit extended, and then long range. Depending how the distance, you get ideally a block, and then hold. Yeah, so block, and get it forward ready with your hand. Yes, if it's close enough, Wing Chun don't want to waste time. You stop the person, go in hand, and then hit. If it's close person, yeah? Yes, and if you see the hand not rich yet, the hand isn't rich yet, then I come up with my knee, and then I use my hand. Our focus is not, not put your leg in the air too long. Not put your leg in the air like that's too long because, because that in the real fight, they make you kind of not be able to move. Yeah, so we want that. Stop here, I go with the hand. So you guys do that here. Yeah, do that like this. First, block, go away. Hand right away, hand right away. Yeah, so that's the front, the front, hand good. End, hand. Yes, good. The same thing when you do this, hand good, close, break the leg, block, kick down, and still come in with your head. Remember, yeah? Okay, there you go. A little further more, yeah? Still, my hand didn't reach him yet. Knee him, knee, and then head. Uh, well, why we do this? Because you want to be very careful at the distance. Yeah, try to avoid this and then, and then like this, because this is not good for Wen Chang. They don't like to open heel. That's why if they short, we do the knee and allow you to be come closer. Yeah, that's a sign like that. Okay, all right. And then it's further really far. Then I go in this kick, long kick. Yeah, then long kick. Now we can, so those is like kick exercise that we have to do, yes? In the warm up, we do that. We make sure that we don't want to kick high, but at least I can stop someone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 How's that happening? Good? It's beautiful, Sifu. Right? It's really good. Yeah. So for, for, for us, I mean, the real Wing Chun can do mostly hand. 80% uh, uh, people to like hand because the more they go to Wing Chun, they already getting a little bit of, you know what? They just want to be comfortable, lazy, just finish the fight. They don't need any of the very physical exercise. But for us, it's different. I mean, we're not, we still want to be learned and used as much as, as much as, as much as the motion, right? So here, yes. you can, yeah. But really, Wing Chun is, can build for people even with, you know what? Leg have problem. They don't walk. They can even still fight with the hand alone. They still can do that, right? But uh, for us, 
the way we want it, you know, something I can use a leg to stop. And then you go with the hand, stop again. Now, so this is the real fight of Wen Chang again, the other style. And the Wen Chang guy can use the same thing. Again, the leg kicker. Yeah? So that's a good exercise for us. Especially when you go with a few people, attack. I stop that guy. I come in, I kick him. I come in, get some elbow. I turn around. This guy come in, we stop them. So for us, we don't have to be just drop the leg. The leg is half important at the hand. Yeah? So, but our kick is a different. It's a um, very, very relaxed and go low. We never do high kick. So because of high kick is dangerous, right? But we do have all of those kind of exercise. Don't think the Quinchong guy is only here and then turn around, just right that. This is the lazy one, right? The real one is, we're good, I can move. I can move. Don't forget the footwork when you gotta learn. So, think simple. The thing come in, attack come in, I have to move out. And then I come in hit. Right? So that's the footwork. So when you do the turn, you have your right leg in front. Okay? The kick come in. Okay? My first priority is stop them. If I can be fast enough to stop what he intends to stop, we do that. Choice number one. Yes? Choice number two. If he's a fast kicker, then when I need to move, I move this way. My leg, right? I move right and then I come into him. Yes? Yes. So they save you a lot of time because my 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 right, I slide for here. It's only half. Then I face him. Yes? That's the footwork. That's the footwork. All right? Okay, so let's say I'm, I'm facing Ted right here. What legs? She have your right in front. Okay? When she move, if she move on this side, slow, if she move this, a little bit right here, right? Okay, but if you move that side, and then you come in, okay? So you move like this and, and move forward. Look, from here, you step this side and you move forward. Yeah, so right here, I go in, so you move, move out and move forward. Okay, so it's right here. Remember, this is only half step. Don't do full step. Count it. I step, I, I'm the one. So you have to do one and a half, not two. Two are too slow, right? So here, I have one, you can move like this, and this. There you go, okay? Okay, look at the step now. Yes. So I move, look, so I, that's it. Slow as you can see. So I come in, get one, is here, and in. Okay, so you only do still look like one, because you do, this is one, you wouldn't try. Yes? And this is the one, and the one. That, see also do that. Only one with a little bit of the, the, the small. You don't do two because in we learn in take one in karate, first one to the side and two come in his right. So we cannot go two again. The guy who only kick you in one time, you have to do two motion, you're very slow. Yes? So I'll put work like that. I'll put work like that. Facing around here. Okay? As I throw the kick. What legs he have, it's gonna move that side and come in. Watch this, go in. You see that faster? Because she move in the right direction. The right, move right. Okay, so what's that here? The right, move right and come in. You see right here. Same thing with this, go in. Okay, because she move right to right and forward. If you have a left, you move left first. Left and then forward, yes. Left and then forward. So go left and forward. That's it. Look at the slow now. Left and forward. You see that here? So this is we learn in Wing Chun. Your, your leg, that here, we're more likely to use that one to slide. It's a lot safe time, yes? Ah, like that, good. So that ideally is we avoid from the incoming traffic. You guys can practice that, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's the footwork part, yeah? Yeah, so belong the Wing Chun hand. The stepping also important, again, the kicker. Again, the kicker. So then if they kick, we can move like that. Yes? Okay. Now go back to the technique. Uh, bring your elbow up. Elbow, bounce the block. Over here, bounce the block. Yeah, elbow block. And then, I take the hand and strike. This hand strike, okay? What's your try? Lap. Take your hand, lap, good, little lap. Okay, if I block right here, now that's another lap. That's it, yes? So you gotta do that, bong, hit, when you hit it, 
the person blocked the hand, then this become another lap. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, yeah, bong, yeah, bong like this. Okay, take your hand, hit. And if something stops this hand now, we can continue to the next lap. Yes, you can do like this. Okay, she do bong, come on, she do the first one, bong lap, I'm blocked this, not a lap. Aha, there you go. You don't need to be stabbed. If it's not neat, it's not necessary. We don't need to step because it's taking time. So, lap, hip lock, lap, 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 lap. Turn your body. So, she do the first lap. That bomb, that bomb. Yeah, lap, and then block it, another lap. How's that? How's that? Turn, 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 and turn. So, again, on, block. Okay, lap, lap. How's that? Yeah? So, if she do that, people, people, Block it, we don't try to resist. Use your body to turn. Use your body to turn. So the trick of Wing Chun is you don't you don't pull the hand straight down. Right here, hand up. It normally we learn people pull your hand down very hard. Pull down. We don't want to fight like this, but you wanna your body turn it. Your body turn. Okay, when you turn like this, you it it gives your body so there's less power, right? We don't need to go like we don't need to be win somebody to solve. Yes. Another thing on this is if that person hand like high, then when you turn it, you don't need to punch in the face. You can do the same thing, but punch low. So turn around. This lap punch low like that. You don't have to punch high. Yeah. So he go like this and punch this hand hit me first, and I block like this. Then lap the punch here. There you go. So you don't have to be all the time, oh, Sibu Lap Lap Pan Phil Fei. No, Wing Chun don't teach you like that. Where is an opening, we hit. You understand now? Where yes. is a hole, we hit. That's why to predict, we, but don't let the guy know when, okay, when they wrap the hand, the Wing Chun person will punch me in the face, no. If you do this, they can predict how we attack and they will block, it. yeah? But it's not like that. The Wing Chun is the art of flowing. Flowing. So mean when you come in, you come in, come any technique, come in. Unblock, lap that. You see here? So yeah, so she learned to punch here. But if my head like this, where do you punch? There you go. Then I'm block here again. What do you hit? That's it. I'm block here. Lap. Good. And then I'm block here. You go attack. I'm block here. You can do chop. So it's not all the time punch. It could be a chop or not. The chop. Chop. Just it. I block this way. Hold it here. This way, I'm blocked the arm way. How are you from here? Go to the arm break. Arm break. That's it. Arm break. Now the arm break that she just do is from the exercise we just do. If we don't do that exercise, when you do the arm break, again, you want to use your shoulder. You want to use a hip. Look, the hip very powerful. Yes? That's what we need it, right? So, yeah. So that's how you want to do it. The technique is flow. We stop. Black box. So you do the bomb. Bomb. Hit. I'm blocked, black, okay. Good, keep punching from there, and then out. So now, you can see like that, right? Uh, your body move. So, in, it just same in Wing Chun. One word that Bruce Lee say right, it be water. Same thing in Wing Chun. That's the only thing that he translate right. It water, if nothing can stop it. If I stop this way, she go another way. So, pretty I'm one, bomb, 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 look. Slowly take, slowly hit. If she hit here, it say my hand block before that. My hand block before Tara hand come in. Don't fight. Then clear my hand. Hit again because the water. So anything I push here, I think I push here. She feel don't fight back. Good. Don't fight. It hit again. Hit the first one again. Again and then I'm block. If you feel my hand weak, then you lock that. Yeah. Okay. You feel weak, right? You feel weak. You pull. You feel hard, you feel hard, don't pull. Uh, does that make sense? If, if she does. do the bomb and then she chop, look at this, chop here. She feel my force is like this hard. Don't need to pull. Slowly take it clear and then hit more. Yeah? So yes. your hand, what you do when chunk is like a little bamboo stick. If the force go this way, they will bend at the end, they go back. If the pressure not enough to bend the bamboo, the bamboo stay. Yeah, that's how our wind chunk technique. Yeah, so when take your right hand and hit me, put your hand forward there. Here's a bamboo. If I block and I'm very 
kind of weak like this. Look, I didn't push enough the bamboo. It, it, what happened to the lock? How did you hit me? Because your hand feel nothing much. The guy maybe just do this. He didn't, then you do last. Does that make sense? That's the bamboo concept. Put it again, hit, hit. Now you see, oh, now a lot stronger. So don't pull. Now the pressure goes that way. And what? Then you hit here. So that's the idea why the people blocking Wing Chun, they cannot even, if you don't train this way, you either go very hard, very soft. But the person learn Wing Chun, their hand is like bamboo. Yeah? You hit it, it's a hit. They have no way to them to guess it where you hit. Yes? So how about the elbow? Bring the elbow up. Well, so here's the elbow. Elbow mean when any of my force come in, China want to move the, the my force to the side. Yes? Okay. Maybe the other elbow so they can see the other elbow. Yeah. So here I hit and so here's an elbow. This elbow different like a Muay Thai elbow. Uh, different with karate elbow, they go like this. The elbow wouldn't try to move my force to the side. When my force to the side, now see you can hit that way. Okay. Anything hit from here. Okay, look. See how many way? One hit with this hand, because now my force not direct anymore. My force here. So Tara can punch me. That one, or take my hand, chop a hit, clap that, two, right? Or I move on the side here. She can now, look, she can now drop down, drop this hand, drop the hand, drop this hand, drop it down, and come and use your shoulder to hit me. Shoulder. She can do that as well, right? So the idea of Wing Chun like that, it's about, did you see that? The force. When you move the force to the side, you keep going. So this is the, how you train. You can do like this. If people teach you wrong, they teach you like this. Uh, bomb, so block, bomb, elbow, and then punch. Just elbow, right? Elbow, elbow, and then punch with the backhand. One. They said technique number one. They will teach you that. Block and punch. And then that's that technique number two, right? Technique number one, block, and then punch. Block, move, and punch the backhand. Backhand punch. Oh, that, that is shoulder strike. Yeah. I said, if you learn Wing Chun correctly, it's based on how you feel, you have many different ways to do it. But if people teach you to make you memorize it, they will take, uh, okay, today learn this. And then punch. So block, and then punch with the back. Oh, that's it, that out. technique number one. Repeat the technique again. Block, hit, technique number one. They just make you to program like this. They don't tell you that you have 10 different options. They don't tell you. They just say memorize number one, do it at the time today. Do it until next week, i show you um, lesson number two. Don't learn like that in Wing Chun. Because this way, you force, you force your memori memorize the technique. Wing Chun don't like memorize technique, right? Wing Chun like to be, when they go in your block, you feel on this, which way? Then what technique you like? You have option number one, hit. Option number two, punch, backhand. Backhand punch. Good, like this, and punch out. Like this and punch the backhand. Like that, punch. Option number two. Go. Option number two. Number one. That. Number two, for example. Number three, take that shoulder strike. Here, grab shoulder push. Number three. Number four, take this, kick. Here, move to the side, take, kick. See, so you have to learn all of this in one day. You see how hard is Wing Chun? Because they teach you, hey, don't memorize it, feel it. It's like you teach a way to teach a little uh, kid how to dance. Okay? At some point, you will take the kid and turn on the music and let he enjoy the music. Right? Don't tell him to dance. Just say, put on the table, put the baby on the table, turn on the music. What happened is the baby started feel the music, rhythm. He will dance. Mm -hmm. After he can feel the music, then you can teach him Hey, dance like this, dance like this. But if he doesn't know how to listen to the music and feel it, he never be a, a good dancer. Is that right? He can be a good dancer. Yes. So the same with Wing Chun. Don't do technique only. You have to do the feeling training. Important this is when I go to the fourth thing, you touch, feel, and go. I don't care how, I don't care what technique that you're gonna do. You need to feel where's my pressure go. And then you just feel go. Number one. Again, feel that way go. Feel. Okay. You feel the energy. Next hit again. 
Feel the energy, feel the energy, feel the energy. There. If you feel you can go without getting the traffic, and that's called feeling, right? In Wing Chun, number one. If you don't know how to feel it, you just go, Sifu, today, what technique you're gonna show? Tomorrow, next week, Sifu, I forgot the first technique, can you remind me? <laughs> <laughs> That's not a wind chunk. Wind chunk don't do that. That's why you see my student, 70, 70 years old, is can still fight wind chunk. Tell you the forms, who I forgot. I agree you forgot, but you never forget wind chunk. If you learn correct, you cannot forget wind chunk because wind chunk have nothing to memorize it. You see, memorize anything, I just tell her to feel my energy and don't go against energy. Yes, yeah? so I go for the attack. She blocks, you go. Well, and then I go in and block this. What's the feeling? What the feeling tell you? What the feeling? Yeah, so this move, this move. Yeah, that kind of trend, that kind of trend. You understand now? That's why people look at the wind chunk and say, hmm. They try to break down an art of feeling into many pieces, cut into small pieces. It's very hard to teach, very hard to teach. Because you say, okay, I will sit down, I will do a program this week, Lesson number one, okay? Then you're gonna fall exactly like karate. This week, lesson number one. 10 lesson gonna be passed to a next belt. It'll take you forever because this one actually is an art of all blending in. You understand? So with the art of fighting, you cannot memorize like that. You just go with the flow. So there's some basic you learn from beginning, which is ABC, A, Tan so. Remember that one? So that is we need to memorize it. Tanda, A. For example, okay, we do that. With your hand, A. Yeah, for example, this is A and we jump. Tanda, the ball coming, use an elbow and this together. That's A. You can do that. Yeah, so that's called that, for example. Then you have a long one for this. Okay, let's say like B, right? Ah, the guy go hit here, I do this. Okay, we need to block anything in the bottom, you can do that. So that's called technique B. Ganda, yeah? When punching, you block and you punch. That, that's like technique by technique. They block here, and block and punch, that B. Yeah? Ah. And then you have in the arm block like this, straight, straight, straight. So use the arrow up. Okay, let's say that is C. Mean the force coming, I give this one here to deflect it away. Yes, deflect it away. And make sure when you do this, you use your hip and you turn your, you turn your force like that. Okay, so what come to us, we deflect it, we deflect it. Yeah, try to raise your hand. Good, so that I come forward, face forward, and beauty straight, slow, yes, it's like that. I think head here should be bouncing away. Okay, it doesn't matter what hand. So you can walk with this, but this I go here, so you can do, no, same with that hand. Same with that hand, up. Yeah? Same view, yes? Same with view. There you go. So this is C. Yeah? And do, so C, right? This is this. Now like this side, the same side, same side to the side, same side to the side. That's it. Good. So this C, how to deflect the attack? How to deflect the attack? Yeah? So that's C. Yeah? So you just let us set up how those movements go, and then we just go to the floor. That's how you learn this art pretty fast. So Feel, yeah? Feel, good. And then you learn bomb, elbow. Use an elbow for blocking. Elbow also have one for the face, and one for the low area. Yes? Good. The low area is mean like this. I don't know that people would attack so my hand down was in the down position, yeah? In a suddenly, somebody will punch, punch I hear, I turn. Or could be a knife. Could be a knife coming like this. So Tara put your hand down. She didn't know that I'm attacked. The hand was like this. Now, yeah? As soon as you see this one come in, the knife coming, you, you turn. You don't have time to do. You don't have time to do this, right? Look at this. So hand on. I do this, she should turn. Ah, how's that technique work? We don't use an arm, we use your body. Body. Okay, body. That's it. You see how fast it is? Both hand out because you don't know that I'm attacking. How's that? How's that? You see that makes sense? But not only one hand. What we're trying to do this? Two hands together. Watch. 
two heads together, right? She goes from nowhere, this is not I'm attacking, and then she saw that. So at least the deflecting turn. Okay, don't hit, but just deflect the fork. Okay, when you got me right here, take this hand, chop to the throat, and then attack. Uh, you see the technique now? That's what I'm telling you. Wood Chong never teach you technique. They never call technique. They give you A, B, C, D, E, alphabet, and then now we write it. Writing, we need some grammar, but then we can write. You understand? We never learn. Today, we learn this technique. Let go hundred time. And then two months later, forget. Right? This is not what Wun Chong learned. They teach you situation. So when you see that part, it's like this. Yeah? Look. So you do the technique, you slowly turn. You slowly turn. Good. Slowly turn and hit. That's it. So we turn. Okay. No ball, so good. No ball, so okay. Yeah. Ah. So your hand was a no. So this technique works for both because see on this side. So she feel it close here. That's why she use this way. Yes. Because it go to that side. But don't forget, you can use this hand to block. Your right hand come. From here, you can do this as well. Look. Turn the other way as well. Yes, you can do it as well. It doesn't matter what way. If you want the opposite way then you better hit quick, that's it. But yeah, okay, slowly turn, take the hand, the door, yeah, there. Still will say, depend on how your stand also. If you have your right legs in front like this, good, and I come like this, of course you will use it that way. Yes, uh, because it's closer. Uh, so that, and hit, that hit right here, you avoid from my attack. That's why you hit from there, okay? Situation like that. And if see on the other side, Okay, then it, it fastens this way. So that's how Wen Chong teach you. They never teach you, if I punch on the right, Tara has to walk on this side. I punch on the left, she has to switch and use her left. That, that very slow. Yeah. Wen Chong teach you, no. The fight come unexpected. If I teach Tara, put your hand up before people attack you. Then, oh, oh this girl knows something. I better be more, right? Wen Chong teach you, no, no. For the real study fan, we don't know the, the fight happened. My hand was down. My hand was down. Right? My hand was down. The people in front of you started to like this. He started, okay, you want to fight. I didn't fight yet. So when you need to eat, no, nothing. Your hand is in front of you. No. Depend on how the attack comes, you react from them. Yeah? So this bomb so mean in a surprising the pun, you flick the elbow up like this. There. See here? So her hand down, her hand down. A hand down, and people say this, and then hit and attack, and then hit. Yeah, that's why the elbow we work develop for that. Does that make sense? So the bomb, yes. how you do this, it develops for the situation like that. You don't know the fight coming, and you cannot both car hit. Get out of the car. <laughs> I'm ready. I don't know if he fight, but I'm ready. You only put your hand up because you're too scared. That's why. But if you're confident enough, say so what happened? They're coming. But our hand is already aware. My leg is already aware. My hand is already aware. Technique is already there. You don't put your hand up first. Okay? So that is what Wing Chong wanted. And from in any situation, the technique is not from here and go up for the guard and block. The technique is go from where we are, straight up. Where we are, straight up. Uh, that's why the hand down. Okay? Let's say I, from here I go hook. Then you can go with view. Like that. Right away, a good view or time, right away. That's when you notice the Wen Chong technique design. Design from nowhere, there. Nowhere, go there. Nowhere, go there, right? That's how you learn it. Ah, they never look formal. They never look formal like in karate. Technique number one. They never look formal like that because they, they, they are different. They're street fighter, yeah? Then they never put the hand up and show you from that position, you do this move first and you do this move after. Then switch hand, he switch hand, I do this one. We never do like that because this is really not reality enough. Does that make sense? So that's what you learn when Chong is like that. No, there wasn't that nothing. You go from your hand down, I come to, I do this. Okay, react. The first one you react wrong, oh my God, could be that. So you have two situations, people go like this, Tanda, you learn. 
Jadi lawan ganda, ganda. Yes, that. You learn like that. So you get somebody to do this. Tan. And then long with Okay. The more you do this, maybe first couple of times you miss it. You realize, okay, yes. They they hit me randomly. They hit me randomly. Sometimes they're gonna hit the face, sometimes they go for the low. So your body, it takes you maybe five, ten minutes to feel okay, that's annoying you get a random hit. But again, this is how you nobody hit you, tell you where they hit you, right? So the training like this. I go in, I randomly see do that, I come back I'm randomly in the slow. So give you like a few seconds to react. <laughs> Is it wrong? Okay, fix you. Wrong. Ganda. I go in. Okay, I go in. I move up. I go in. So this one happened. It teach. It teach you to be react. See what technique is it is suitable in that situation. That you're not going to waste your time, right? Good. How's that? How's that? When this thing happened, one by one, they call reaction one by one. Then we go to a step up. The person get hit, not stay there for you to hit. It will block it. Now we call, in Wing Chun, we call lap so fighting. So you come in the first one, you got this, I'm blocked. Then you hit again, I'm blocked again, I'm blocked again. They hit, I'm blocked again, I hit the back, I hit the back. So that becomes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Now we started <laughs> play game. Your eyes get a feel. Yeah. Not look. The more you scare and you look at away, this is when you see the training like this. Yes. Is that follow ABC? No. Who teach you guys combo number one? Combo number two. Yeah. Yeah. Too bad. You learn to, to learn the combo. <laughs> Too bad. It's like you want to become a cook and you learn from, from somebody. You only know how to cook only five things in your restaurant. Only five things. In, in your menu, only have five. The guests come in, can you make me something special today? I don't know. <laughs> I only know five. I learned from my mom. <laughs> You're not qualified to open the restaurant if you only know a few like that. It's only in North America they do that way. They only know cook five. All you need to do is just buy the franchise. They can cook five. Yeah. My home, not like that. You want to be a cook? Yeah, you cook. You learn from mom, grammar. You can make you can make your own dish, right? This is why people come to you. Okay. Sometimes people want to do something. That's how we chunk like that. Never be, never be to learn in a combo. Now, it's my time, there's a lot of Sifu, they make the Wing Chun and they teach into a military. When you learn Wing Chun to teach to a military, they do the combo. Because the military guy have no time. So you just learn some few combo. Let's say, if I make the combo, so I said, let's say four combo, right? I go in, I want to do pack on me, pack her. Okay, one, lap her. And then lap, turn to lap, two. And then take, take this one here, lap my neck, and then elbow, elbow the other hand. In, in, elbow, take off the hand and elbow to my hand. Oh. Three, watch it. Okay, pack it, pack it. One, okay, pack it, pack it, pack it. One, lap it, two, and elbow, three. Okay, combo number one. I can stay here and I can make you guys a thousand combo, trust me. Because what I can do is, it's like a music. If I know the music, I can write you a song, isn't it? I can make you a little small song, go home and sing. It's okay. <laughs> You sing forever. <laughs> you sing forever. And you always have to follow me to sing in my a, a, a word, a word. I'm writing. Wouldn't you want to be like that? Wouldn't you want to be, yes, you can do that way, a few lines. Then you have to understand music. You should be able to go on YouTube and read the music and play the song. Yeah. You don't need that teacher for the rest of your life. You need maybe two years, three years. That's it. That's how you learn correct music, right? Same way. Never learn the combo. Right? Never learn the combo at all. So what you want to do right now, on your own, you guys working on ABC for me. Don't worry about the combo. ABC again, hook one coming, A, tan. Yeah? Hook, hook, tan, tan. That's what you need to do. Tanda, tanda. Feet punching. Kick. If you like kick, you do kick. If you like a low knee, low knee. They don't have to memorize anything. Two hook, tan, tan, feet punching. Push him away. It's like that. 
One high hope, one low hope. High hope will be Tanda, high, and then Ganda, low. And then three punch, there. You can do this. At the end, you can do, so high for Tanda, Ganda, three punch. That's it, yes? She can like it. If she like me, she like some Muay Thai, teach you some me, why not? You can do that, but after you do Wing Chun. Because the Wing Chun teach you to be safe, fast here, here. After this thing here, it's not harmful at all. You just don't want to do that one before Wing Chun. Wing Chun teach you the theory to be safe. How's that? Yeah. That's why when you finish Wing Chun class, you go and say, see, well, I don't remember anything. Let me tell you, I have the same thing. Back to the day when I learned this, and my, the whole class, two hours, three hours, I go home, so a lot of people come in with the book because we learn so much. So they write right out on the book. And my sister will say, throw your book away. No books. Okay? Because if you have a book, you go home and you keep memorizing. He said, no, you learn in here. You practice here three hours, go home, relax. You don't want to memorize it. You want to be react. Does that make sense? So that's what we do. Don't need to memorize stuff. You can look at the video and train the way. But try to remember the combo with um, hacker, hacker, okay, lap that and elbow, yeah, and then elbow, for example, and then lap, and then elbow. So if you say, okay, this is a good combo, and then you make a person do both sides, this happy people teach Wing Chun is wrong. Not memorized combo, right? Uh, so if you learn the way, okay, we learn a few, an example, and then you go for the question answer, which is like a way, you hit, and block. Block, block, good, good, block, the hit, lap, this way, block, and yes, here, okay, here, good, here, if you push, you step out and pick, pull out and pick, good, this is called reaction, don't memorize it, is that right, don't memorize anything, make sense, that's what you need, don't tell me. <laughs> Okay, we good. I think that block is wrong. I know yesterday was wrong. Okay, so it's good. It's good how it? Thank you. Yeah? Thank you, sir. That's what nice. uh, I want you guys to do. The form, I put you, but again, the form is serving the purpose of why are you doing the form? The form teach me to develop that power. Look, the power, the power. So let's say Tara is good at the speed already, but if she don't learn to develop those techniques, those chop in the form, once you get to me and really hit it, again, you don't have to really have the power. So why you require to do this form many times? Okay, it's like an exercise. And when you actually use it, you really now have a power, right? But that's what I mean. The form is serving to get me the motion. So when we actually do a block, to get used to it, okay, I do the form. I remember this in the form. And that's how they really have a power. That give you the power, okay? The person learning Wing Chun and then without the form, then when by the time when you get to me and you hit, really not much of the power. So, so when you guys doing the form, have you power there? Power from the block, power when you strike, okay? Here, power when I do the shoulder strike, I have to loosen up and I can strike. Power when I strike, but knee coming, Power, push the person away. That's the power, right? Power, and then here, power here. We're good, try to come in, use an elbow to stop them. And chop, pull chop, chop, chop inside. Extend your hand, so extend it, not bad, extend it. Extend it, there, and then stop it. There, extend it, chop it. Watch this, yeah? Okay, the best thing you can do this, is you need the target. You can go on the back, or you can get something to get you something because this one needs to be feel. So here, one hand, one hand. Good, one hand. Good. When you hit there, okay? So good to have it like that. Relax, aim, and back. One hand. Good, one hand. Stop there, stop there over here. Because you go further more. Go so further more, you might be missed. So hit from here, yeah? Hit from here, stop. Look, okay, if that one missed, that one missed, next one will be your elbow. Okay, but first strike, and elbow. Okay, this, and step in there. This, good, elbow that way, elbow that way, turn. Yeah, the chop, elbow. Oh, that's 
search a bit wrong here. Okay, okay, hold, hold. You get to do that. So now you understand like that's here. So this is a chop. Yes? The guy with this, he come here, the elbow the other way. Yeah, <laughs> it's been like that. Can you see it happen? No. Chop. Okay? The bigger one miss. Come in. The elbow from here is what you want that way. Elbow. Yeah. Chop. Elbow. Mm -hmm. The trend be like this. Chop. Elbow. Good. Because when she chop this, chop, it means somebody move it away. He come in. Then you elbow him the neck. There you go. You got it? That's how. <laughs> elbow, ready? <laughs> <laughs> you see, that's it normally, yeah, they do, yeah. they do by, uh, yeah, yeah, they do like, I think they do like a little bit, like 45 minutes, out of the network, they allow you to lock in, notice that, mm -hmm. back to my brother, the same, because there's so much banquet, and it was busy life, they set it free, even they set it free, but they always have that, even here, they never say that, but they set it in the computer, yeah, my name, <laughs> but uh, you have to understand it, yeah. So do this in the air. Yeah. So again, do that. You okay, Helen? Yes. Yeah, sorry, I I lost you before. I know. Um, I know. Anytime when that, you know, it's about one hour, they kick you out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Be good. So work like that. Mm -hmm. Work with what I said here. Good. You guys know where is that come from? Chop and elbow. So that is the chop, right? Yeah. The chop, elbow. We don't go past. We never think go all the way because you missed it, you completely cannot go backward. But if we do, I stop there, we come in, I can do the elbow, but that's how we use it, right? So we have a lot of those things, but we do that with a very understanding why we don't go all the way like this. Because when he missing, he coming. This one, you get my elbow. It's like that, right? Okay? Okay, how that's good. Thank you, people. It was great. Thank you so much.